welcome back. Um, so I'm out in my front beds today and a couple months ago when there was still snow on the ground I had sprinkled some poppy seeds and this weekend when I was fertilizing I trampled all over these beds and I'm pretty sure that if there were any chance of those poppies germinating and starting to come up I probably squashed those with my feet. <laughs> so um, as you noticed in the last clip I had um, gone in my freezer and picked up my packets uh, picked out my packets of poppy seeds that I had put in there to keep them cold stratifying um, And now my plan is to just sprinkle a few more out It is now the third week of March and we do still have some nights of freezing temperatures coming up So I'm hoping that that will be just enough to still give these guys a chance at germinating So let's go ahead and toss out some more poppy seeds and see what happens This is the other bed where I planted some of these um, purple lilac pom-pom uh, poppies. Yeah, they're poppy lilac pom-pom. So this is the other bed that I did the same thing where I had scattered some seeds on the snow. And again, I walked through it earlier this uh, over the past weekend when I was um, doing some fertilizing. So I'm going to sprinkle a few more of these down and then I have another variety that I'll share with you that I'm going to put in a different area and those I have not sowed yet. This will be the first sowing of those poppy seeds. So poppy seeds are really, really small, so it's good to do this on a day where it's not too windy. Um, they are tiny. So I'm glad I'm doing it today because we get a ton of wind in this area um, in my yard, but today it's a really calm day and we're getting rain overnight and tomorrow, so I think it's the perfect opportunity to get the rest of these seeds down. Here in front of my driveway walls is where I, plant, I plan on planting this other variety, which is called California Poppy apple blossom chiffon. So currently I have alternating clusters of daffodils and creeping phlox. So in about a week or two all of my daffodils, the ice follies and ice king varieties will be in full bloom and then the phlox will pick up while the foliage on the daffodils dies back. But in the summer I won't have any summer color. Last year I planted some short daffodils, not daffodils, sunflowers. And while the idea was good in theory, it didn't work out so well because daffodils look for the sun. So they kept trying to face the sun and would face in all kinds of wonky directions. So they were never facing outward like I had hoped. So this year I'm gonna try these um, poppies and see what happens. If they germinate, great, we'll have some pretty flowers. If not, I might just pick up some annuals to pop in here uh, for summer color. When I'm in here getting the seeds planted, I scratch the soil and I move some of the bark mulch out of the way because you want your poppy seeds to make contact with soil. And then you just gently press them in and then once the rain comes, it'll get them all watered in. I did winter sow some poppies as a backup to um, you know, the direct sowing in the snow. These are Hungarian poppies and they have germinated. They look pretty good. So um, poppies are a little finicky when it comes to transplanting. So if I don't get any out in the landscape, I'll do my best at transplanting these um, to hopefully get them to kind of grow on out in the landscape. This is the Amazing Gray variety. 
and this one is some more of the lilac palm palm poppy So always exciting to see those start to germinate. Of course, the cold tolerant stuff germinates first um, and then the other stuff follows shortly thereafter. Well, I've planted four varieties of poppy so far this year. The Hungarian blue, the um, purple pom-pom lilac, the um, amazing gray, and one other, this one here, the California Poppy Apple Blossom Chiffon. I always forget the name of this one. Um, so some of them I did in the winter sowing containers. Some of them I did by direct sowing and scattering them on top of the snow. Um, it's all a big experiment. I don't know what will work and what, what won't. But it can't hurt just by getting these extra last seeds scattered now in the early spring while the temperatures are still really cool at night. Um, so hopefully I've had these in the freezer for a few weeks. Um, and that would have helped with the stratification process. These seeds need a period of cold before they will readily germinate. So if none of those methods work, there's always next year. It's a note to self next year though, when I do scatter the seeds in the snow, I have to really make a mental note to not walk on those spaces. Um, that's where I feel like I went wrong this year. I was so eager to come out and start some of my spring cleanup that I forgot all about those poppy seeds from two months ago and started walking all over the beds. And that's ultimately going to disturb those baby seedlings that are starting to emerge. And at this point are barely visible. So you're not really aware that they're even there unless you look super close and you know, and you're looking for them. So um, lesson learned and I'll catch you in the next one.